you can add a new empty table to your database with the create table command. When you create a table, you'll give the name of the table and the names and the types of each column. You can also set constraints on each column and on the row as a whole. We'll talk about constraints shortly, but for now let's focus on types. Here's the simplest form of the create table command that doesn't have any constraints, only columns with their types, and gives the table a name. Now we've dealt with text and integer types previously, and back in lesson two, I gave you a big long list of lots and lots of types that SQL supports. The exact set of types that you can use will vary from system to system though. If you're working with a database system that doesn't natively support the type you need, there's usually a way to work around it. For instance, PostgreSQL has a specific type for IP addresses, but MySQL does not. MySQL programmers usually use an integer or a text string to store IP addresses. Of the databases we've used in this course, PostgreSQL has a proper type for dates and times, but SQLite actually just stores dates as strings.